Hey guys, I'm Sam Basher. Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, and this episode is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club, and I've got a surprise for you. Hi, everybody! It's just Hershburglar! Let's talk about a boy we hold near and dear to our hearts, Tom Hardy. Ah, oh God, he's good in Warriors. He's real good. Oh my God, LD50 Lethal Dose is hands down the best. Nothing like a good computer ghost movie, huh? Our BFF Tommy was interviewed recently, like most celebrities are, and he stated that he would love to be the next Punisher. Whoa, hold up, back it up. Wait a second, take it back now, y'all. Two hops this time. We're talking about Tom, Mad Max, Bronson, Bane, Hardy, possibly playing the most ruthless anti-hero in the Marvel Universe. Hell yeah. Well, Charlie Cox, our new Daredevil, stated that he wanted to see Punisher make an appearance in season two of Netflix's Daredevil series. While that does sound awesome, because Frank Castle and Matt Murdock's relationship has always been interesting, I can't see Tom Hardy taking a step back to the small screen. I mean, he's a hot commodity right now. But hey, the man can do what the man wants to do. Also, he's got that brooding look that the Punisher needs. True Hirschberglin, and true. What did you think about the possible Spider-Man director? Oh yeah, you mean Jonathan Levine, Ted Melfi, Jason Moore, Jared Hess, John Francis Daley, and Jonathan M. Goldstein. Those are the ones. Jared Hess, Napoleon Dynamite's director. Love that movie, but... Yeah. Hey, I mean, Jason Moore directed the internet's favorite film, Pitch Perfect, so I can't be mad at that. You mean mad? It was rumored that Drew Goddard was supposed to direct this. Cabin in the Woods, Daredevil Drew Goddard. Droopy's got an impressive resume, okay? Imagine how good a Drew Goddard Spider-Man movie would be. Well, I mean, don't don't freak out yet, Sam, you <sighs> fanboy, you. These aren't final. Maybe Marvel's being sneaky, huh? Maybe Drewby could direct it after all. That's true. They're sneaky. Trisha, you always make me feel better. It's okay, baby boy. I want to look at this awkward Ant-Man poster because it's pretty fantastic. I mean, the actors look just as confused as we are about the movie. <laughs> what do you think Michael Pena's thinking in the corner? No one will ever know. What do you guys think? Would Tom Hardy be a good Punisher? And who should direct Spider-Man? Let us know. Also, thank you to our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club, get awesome razors shipped to your door for just a couple bucks a month. It's so freaking easy. I don't know why everyone's not signed up for Dollar Shave Club. You don't have to worry about fees because there are none. You just pay for what you want. You don't have to worry about contracts or commitments because you can stop shipments anytime you want. No charge. Also, check out Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter mm. for a clean shave. And One Wipe Charlie's, a peppermint-infused butt wipe for men. They feel great. Go sign up at dollarshaveclub.com slash sfnerd, and I'm Sam Basher. And I'm Trisha Hershberger, and those butt wipes work nice on ladies' tushes, too. A wink. We have a new Batman roaming around Gotham City, and the first official photos of our new live-action Suicide Squad. In this film, we get to check out two of the newest additions to the MCU, Pietro and Wanda Maximoff, aka Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, respectively. 